Hi, my name is Al. I live in Southern California and I'm a lifelong Republican. I first became eligible to vote in 1974. And since then, I have voted for the Republican candidate for president in every election. Um, I had a 37 year career in the military, active in reserve. While on reserve status, I had a 22 year civilian career as a federal law enforcement officer. So I would like to direct my comments and observations to my colleagues, my former colleagues in the military and the law enforcement communities who still support President Trump. Many of those colleagues would say that I began a slide toward liberalism when I married a Democrat 32 years ago. The truth is, uh, I gleefully canceled out all her votes in every election down through the years, up until the presidential election of 2016, when I could not bring myself to vote for Trump. First of all, he evaded the draft on five occasions. He had four education deferments during Vietnam and one medical deferment based on, on bone spurs. On each of those occasions, somebody had to go in his place. Somebody who didn't have Trump's money, his influence, his wherewithal, uh, and who couldn't debate the draft. Um, to me, that's shirking your duty and, uh, and is a character flaw. Um, during the run-up to the 2016 presidential elections, Trump made... Uh, several disparaging and insulting remarks about Senator John McCain's military service. No matter what you think of McCain, he served with honor. And to have Trump uh, be disrespectful and disdainful of that military service, and by extension, my military service, got my attention, and I took that personally. Um, we were just coming off of eight years of foreign policy ineptitude under the Obama administration, and we needed a president with strong foreign policy credentials and experience. We didn't get that. Trump doesn't have that. Um, and after almost four years in office, Trump's foreign policy legacy is a world filled with uh, allies who don't respect us and enemies who don't fear us. Since he's been in office, he's worked very hard to undermine multiple uh, institutions that we rely on, the intelligence community, the Department of Justice, the free press, the scientific community, the postal system, and most recently and most chillingly, the electoral or the our election process. To meddle with the election process is to meddle with democracy, and that sends a chill down my spine. A strong leader welcomes opposing viewpoints uh, because and, and knows that entertaining and debating opposing viewpoints will only further inform that leader's uh, decision-making process. Trump won't put up with anybody who disagrees with him. He's gotten rid of everybody, virtually everybody in his cabinet and his administration who does disagree with him, and he's surrounded himself with yes men and yes women. He values loyalty to himself above merit when it comes to hiring people or making political appointments. His divisive rhetoric is destructive. True, it's just rhetoric, but when you're president, your word, your words mean, your words have influence, and they embolden people to act. Um, my former colleagues, I love you guys. I admire you. I respect you. I would give you a kidney. You know that. And I, so I would respectfully request that you recognize that this election transcends political agendas. Honor matters in a president. Integrity matters. Character matters. And I would respectfully request that you guys take a second look, a harder look, a more analytical look at Trump's performance and his behavior and his methods and determine whether or not he truly has earned your vote. I don't think he has earned it. I don't think he deserves it. Thank you.